I think there's a player on top of the hill, so I can barely see him. Yeah, lay down. Yeah. You taking drops. Ooh, spicy. Juicy. So today we're going to talk about the lowdowns that we like to use. But of course, as with anything in Battlegrounds, it's all about RNG. We're not always going to find the firearms or gear that we desire for our perfect loadout. But with that said, for those of you still struggling in a gunfight, here's a few tips and additions to your loadout that may help you live that little bit longer. And as for firearms, I always try to keep at least one full auto, preferably suppressed, close quarters combat firearm. The ideal weapon for me would be the Vector with an extended magazine. Don't forget your vertical grip and red dot sight, but for the most part in CQC situations, you can take down your enemies pretty quickly without using ADS. My other primary firearm of choice would either be a long-range AR, say the M16, or the K98 bolt action. With either of these, I would recommend either a flash hider or a suppressor. Of course, the flash hider hides the flash from your firearm when you fire, and also reduces recoil slightly. While the suppressor, of course, suppresses your firearm when firing, while also slightly muffling and spreading the sound, making it that little bit harder for enemies to realize where you are. Oh, and another bonus tip for the suppressor, it also does not reduce damage. As for pistols, I generally don't pick them up unless at the beginning of a round when I haven't already seen a better firearm. Of course, with the RNG of loot spawns in Battlegrounds, there is one easier way to find what you desire. Sadly, this cannot be done in solo, but in duos or squads. Oh, that's right, with your teammates. Communication is key, not only by finding gear, but also spotting enemies. But key communication with your teammates is for another video. You also may be wondering why I'm not talking about care package weapons. Nine times out of ten, when you go for a care package, you're probably going to die, as it becomes center of attention, and will most likely become surrounded once you arrive at the care package, or are already being watched. Yeah, yeah, coming over the hill, northeast. They're behind the tree now. Fuck, yeah, they're driving. Nice. Fuck. Fucking hell, <laughs> it destroys cars. I love this thing. Other than that though, I would recommend having at least one of each throwable in your inventory. You never know when a HE grenade, smoke grenade or flashbang is going to become useful in any situation. And another bonus tip is you can quick swap to the throwable you desire by tapping five multiple times. <laughs> nice one. Gonna smoke. I think he ran out, I'm not sure there. No, he's still in there. Nice. And finally, a must have for my loadout is the pan, or as we like to call it, the bud pan, as it does deflect projectiles that are about to enter Uranus. So with all that being said, remember to loot up as quickly as you possibly can, remembering to drag from vicinity to your inventory, saving precious time by avoiding any animations, and try not to stand still too long. And that's all for this tips and tactics video. Hopefully I've helped some of you survive a little bit longer in the battleground. Let me know your favorite loadouts for player unknown battlegrounds in the comment section below. More tips and tactics videos will be coming soon. Stay frosty, and I'll see you peeps next time. Play on your right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did he die? Yep. He's in the house. I'm fucking stuck here. Uh, you need to jump out that wall at the front. We need to move into the zone there. Oh, they're being attacked. At the back of the fucking garage. I see one left side. On the left side, yeah. Another one left side. Ah. Nice. Nine kills. Two.